Instead of focusing on entire two different ways to rank things, uh, one is with a simple rank, another is by percentile, and a, a third is by quartile. When you rank things uh, in general, you just put them in order and you say uh, which place they fall in. Are they first from the bottom, second from the bottom, third from the bottom? Uh, sometimes you'll do it from the top. Uh, in our case, we're going to focus on ranking things uh, from the lowest to the highest. Percentile is when you take that ranking and put it out of something. So, for example, you're third from the bottom, but third out of ten people, you're in the 30th percentile. Uh, one thing to note about percentiles, it's the percent of values at or below the given number. So if you have a tie of a couple numbers, and we'll look at that, uh, that might change your percentile when you put things in order. And then finally, quartile. Which fourth of the distribution are you in? The lowest fourth, the highest fourth, or one of the middle ones? Whenever you have a distribution, it's just the full list of numbers. So uh, the number of three-pointers made by different basketball players, each of these numbers represents a different individual, a different basketball player. When we're talking about individuals, we want to know where a single player falls within that distribution. So for example, that seven here, Imagine that that uh, is Susie, and Susie made seven out of however many free throws were being shot. And so that seven is the individual value that we want to rank in this distribution. When we go to do our rankings, the first thing uh, we do is look at how many values we have. We have nine of them, nine different individuals, and we put them in order. The reason we put the numbers in order is because we're going to be counting from the lowest to the highest to see where it falls, and if they're not in order, it becomes very difficult. For a simple rank, we can see that we have one, two, three values that are smaller than the seven, and then the seven is the fourth from the bottom. So counting from lowest up, we are fourth out of nine, so the rank would be fourth. And percentile is just taking fourth and that ninth, uh, and dividing them. So we, for our percentile, we take our rank of 4 divided by our 9 total and we get 0 .44. And usually we're going to write that as a whole number, as a percent. Uh, so we shift our decimal over two places and we call it the 44th percentile. And you would round it with uh, this division the same way you would round with any other percentage. Finally we have the quartile. Now for quartile we ask what fourth of the distribution that seven falls within. You can do the five number summary and figure out where it falls from there. I found that that tends to be a little bit tricky and can run into some problems on certain distributions, especially smaller distributions. So what we're going to do instead is just use our percentile as a way to figure out what quartile we are in. So in this case we're in the 44th percentile. If we translate that down to quarters, we have the 0 to 25 quartile, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100. The 44th falls in this second group here, between 25 and 50. So we're going to say that it is in the second quartile. That means that at least a quarter of this distribution is below the 7. Two quarters, or half of the distribution, is above the 7. And then it's in this lower quartile right here. In certain cases, uh, as I mentioned before, where you end up with those ties, you can get into a little bit of trouble. If we put all our numbers in order here, and we're looking at the individual with a six, six three-pointers made, you can see that this other individual right here also has six. So which six do you pick? Do you pick the higher one or the lower one? Whenever you're dealing with percentile or ranking, you're always going to pick the one that's farthest out because percentile is defined as uh, how many numbers are at or below or what percent of the numbers are at or below a given value. In this case what numbers are at or below 6? There are three numbers in our list of nine that are at or below 6. So rank is going to be third. We have that down here. Rank is going to be third and then our percentile is 3 divided by 9 the 33rd percentile. And as we mentioned before, uh, 33rd is going to be between 25 and 50, so just like that 7, it's going to fall in the second quartile.
So that's quartile rank and percentage.